<clears throat> All right, well, what's up, everybody? Grim Green, right here. These are my fingers. I want to spend some time today with that Mech Life Ambitions Vapor Arcless Mech Mod, and I finally got the switch all taken apart. It's it's a little bit weird, but it does come all the way apart. This is a quote unquote constant contact switch, and we're just gonna we're just gonna talk about it. The first thing I want to do is show you the two most important pieces. I believe all of the contacts are silver plated copper, and this contact right here is the one that's gonna sit against the bottom of your battery constantly. This is where they get the idea of constant contact. And so while this contact here is gonna be constantly touching your battery, you're also gonna have another contact that's connected to the switch and plunger that's gonna come and hit this. Every single time you press the button, this silver plated contact right here is going to hit this silver plated contact right here in the exact same spot just over and over and over and over and over and over and over again and that's how they keep it from arcing. I'm trying to think of a way to explain this the best that I can but basically it is it's like a 510 pin for the bottom of your battery. Okay, so the top of this is hybrid, right? Meaning these are 510 threads. You thread your atomizer on here and the bottom of your atomizer is going to be directly touching your battery. MechMod started doing this in order to eliminate a lot of the voltage drop that was happening from 510 pins being in between the battery and your atomizer contact. So this is, I believe, going to add a little bit of resistance. It's going to add a little bit of voltage drop because you're essentially taking that same material, that same 510 pin that was adding resistance at the top of the mech mod and you're adding it to the bottom of the mech mod. God, I hope that makes sense. All right, but I want to vape this, so let's start putting this switch back together. So first things first, I'm going to grab the button here. You can see it's got a texture to it, Ambitions Vapor engraved. This goes into the bottom and as you can see, there's like little uh, notches, like little tabs where this is going to fit in. It can only fit in one way. But of course, we need a spring in there. There are two springs in this switch. You use the longer one for the button and screw that contact down onto that threading. So when you're pressing this button, that contact is coming right up. And then lastly, there's this tiny Delrin piece with threads on it. This is where this contact goes. One spring goes on here. And then this has threads on the inside that are going to match these threads on this little Delrin piece. And it should eventually all thread together. And to get it that last bit little way, you can see there's a notch there and a notch there. So you just take your twizzers, tweezers, twizzers, What's a twizzer? You can take your tweezers, kind of place them in those notches and just, you know, finish it up, tighten it up. And now what you end up with is a constant contact switch where this contact is spring loaded and it's in constant contact with the bottom of the battery. And then you have this contact on the bottom and that's how it fires. And then there was a tube. So you can see this is engraved mech life arcless on there. Like I showed you before, hybrid 510 threading right there. The body of the mod has O-rings on it because you have this sort of aluminum knurling piece that goes on it and it slides real nicely over those little little o-rings very tight fit very nice fit and finish honestly across the board on this mech it's just put together really really very well and this is going to be a little bit difficult to see but there is like a uh, a liner in here it's not just raw brass right there i'm going to try to like see i can pick it up from the edge right here it's it's impossible to see. In fact, when you look down in there, you kind of look like, well, that doesn't really have a liner or anything in there. Feels like stainless steel and I can't like slide this out of here, but I can grab like the very, very edge of it and kind of pull it down. You see this right there? Yeah, there you go. So there is something between your battery and the bare inside metal of this mech mod. And that is a good thing. I don't know what the crap I just cut my finger on. Something on this mech life arcless mod just sliced my finger open and I don't remember it happening. Maybe we'll have to see it in the videotape. Seriously, what the hell cut me? Damn it. That is a deep cut too. Shit. What the hell did you do, Arkless? Maybe it's this edge? I don't know what was going on there. You made me bleed my own blood. Well, I got my dead goat atomizer attached. We're gonna throw a battery in the bottom and we're gonna put this switch on. Again, all of the threading, great. Smooth, beautiful, fit and finish is top notch up and down this mech, man. And the switch honestly has a pretty, f it's a fairly soft little throw on there. I, I actually really enjoy it. The one favorite thing about this mech is this switch. Not necessarily that it's arcless or anything like that or constant contact. 
I just like the way it feels. Arkless, mech mod, that's it, top to bottom. What we're gonna do now, let's get back out to normal view. Let's vape the thing. So yeah, that's the Arkless, basically, top to bottom. Like I said in the up and close, all the fit and finish on this, great. It is beautiful. It's a beautiful mech mod from top to bottom. All of the fit and finish, all of the threading, it all fits together so beautifully and feels so nice when you're using it. Whenever you unscrew this bottom switch to take out your batteries, it's just a joy because the threading is so nice and beautiful and smooth. So on to the most important question, right? How does it vape? Here's the thing. It vapes really well. This is a nice hard hitting mech mod. I really, really love this switch in here. I heard Ambitions Vapor talking about how it was like a, a medium-ish switch. It's fairly accurate. I would consider this a, a fairly soft switch. Out of all of the mech mods I've used from like the Rig V1 that had like a six pound sp switch in it to this, this is on the softer side of the spectrum. It's, it's honestly, I would honestly consider it like a soft throw. But there's no way around it. It just vapes really well, hits really hard. It's just a hard hit and Mac. And so I think what they mean in this when they say arcless, it means that you're not gonna get any like sort of burn marks on the bottom of your batteries. In a lot of other mech mods, the contact from the switch is coming up and just hitting your battery, right? It's hitting the bottom of your battery, which sometimes if it's a little bit of an uneven surface or if it's a little bit dented or rounded a little bit, it can lead to arcing and you can get little like uh, black scorch marks sometimes on the bottom of your battery. It never leads to like a catastrophic battery failure or anything like that, but it does leave like carbon buildup on your batteries and your contact. And over time, that's gonna build up and decrease the overall like efficiency of how well your mech mod's hitting. This was designed to completely prevent that. It works, I mean, it works well. I don't know, I don't like the term constant contact, especially inside of a mech mod. That's not something you want, I think, is constant contact. You do want those contacts pulling away from the battery from time to time. So I feel like constant contact is just a little bit of like a buzzwordy kind of thing. If it was actually constant contact, your mod would just be firing nonstop. That's what I think of when I think of constant contact. Now look, drama aside, it does resemble some other mech mods out there. You know which ones. The first one that came to my mind was that Vapeworks.mmk. MMK. They were the first company to do that like tube wide uh, knurling on there. Theirs was Delrin, this seems to be aluminum, but it's the same basic idea. Does it super, super bother me? Not really because it's kind of a cool aesthetic and I genuinely like the grippiness in this. There's a lot of mech mods that don't have this grippiness. So when you push the button, you can kind of like slide your hand down it a little bit, which gets super annoying. This. Dude, it, it's so super grippy. It just sits in your hand. It never slides around anywhere. It's great. I, I like it. I like the knurling. It's vaping great. So brass tacks, right? Are you gonna need your vape budget hands? If you wanna check out the Mech Life Arcless from Ambitions Vapor, uh, I mean, maybe a little bit, not really clicking around the internet. This tube clocks in at about 70 bucks most everywhere you go. For 25 extra dollars, you can get this stack tube so that you can put another contact in here, you put another tube on here, and then you have stacked 18650s if you desire to vape with a series build, which is something that I don't do on the reg, it's not like a frequent thing. I'm not vaping series, but this does have a series option for anybody that's into series builds. Now, okay, if we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have, I have nothing left to vape. Is the Mech Life Arcless something I'm gonna seek out and buy right away? I mean, probably not. Look, it, this is a great mech mod. It's a safe, mech mod. It's a hard hitting mech mod. It's a it's a beefy, grippy, hard hitting mech mod and it's a great mech mod. But I have 
a lot of mech mods that I really, really enjoy. And I'm not trying to take anything away from this. I'm just saying for me personally, I have some mech mods that I like a little bit more than this that yeah, I'd, I'd probably buy first. This probably wouldn't be super high on my list. It might be like on my radar, like, oh yeah, that Arclis, that was, that was a good one. I'll keep that one on my radar. So links are not allowed in the description, so you're gonna have to use your Google Foo, but thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, let's keep on vaping.